Wheels can be a bit, uh, they well, they can be a bit misunderstood, okay? And it's a hot topic. Why might you ask? Well, one could say. It's a little bit like a Rocky Rococo experience, which by the way, if you've never had Rocky Rococo, I feel very bad for you. When you jump into wheels and the argument comes along with, that analogy makes no sense. Anyway, well, when you jump into the wheel scene, there's a lot of arguments that come across because people just don't really understand a lot of the history that's going in and out of the wheel industry and all the fun, quirky stuff that happens in it because there's quite a bit there's quite a bit of things that go on that not a lot of people know and it's a little bit confusing and then people argue on the internet and it's just weird and it makes me uncomfortable. It's only, it's like, if only there was a channel that could talk to you about some of the myths in the car wheel industry that help, you know, clear the air, if you will, kind of remove the fog and allow you to know exactly what are some of the biggest car myths in the, in the, in the, in the wheel industry. I'm Alex, Alex.fi on Instagram, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top myths in the car wheel industry. Let's go. And if you're just jumping into this, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep making banging videos like this, and we promise your commitment won't end in a blaze like your first serious relationship. Okay, we only post quality content. All right, and if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com. Plus, we have a gallery that'll show you what actually fits your car, because that is a problem, all right? Everybody's got a war on something right now. Our war is on bunk fitment, okay? And this will actually show what wheels fit on your car, so it's actually very nice. Do yourself a favor, go check it out. Anyway, the wheel industry is an odd place to be, okay? It usually requires a good chunk of change to actually get into. It's incredibly difficult to create anything that is original in its own way, shape, or form because there's always like hints of different designs in everything. And has quite a few different communities when you look at the wheel industry that only run certain wheel setups or styles because of the loyalty to the brand. You've got a lot of people that will just stay within one car wheel company or car wheel manufacturing company because that's what they like. Now, loyalty is good, but it can be a little misrepresented in the wheel industry. You see, on this wonderful green earth, there's only so many factories that make wheels. You might be asking yourself, why? Why does that exist, Alex? Well, I'll tell you why. Because wheel manufacturing takes a good chunk of space, all right? It requires a massive amount of upfront resources and for the most part, is an actual pain to do. So most of these factories end up overseas. Most predominantly, they end up in China. Now, there's a lot of companies and factories that would want to make them in America, but they're expensive to do it. And there's even been rumors of companies like Wheel Pros and stuff like that trying to make an American factory to make their wheels, which sounds fantastic. And I pray that rotiform wheel prices don't go up, okay? But what does this mean? Well, it means you've got a few forging companies in America, since that's all bespoke stuff, and that's where you'll see a lot of wheel manufacturers say that their wheels are made in America. But really, there's mostly factories in Taiwan and Japan, a couple in Europe, and the rest of them are in China, because anything that's not a bespoke wheel style is gonna be made overseas. I am patiently waiting for a coffee sponsor. I know, we talk about China and everybody gets mad or they don't get mad maybe because they don't care anymore. I don't know, when I was young, everybody cared about that stuff. And people would be like, what? Nani? Nani? Huh? That's bad. Well, no, and actually, mostly, really no, okay? Because most cast wheels, even rotary forged wheels, are going to be made overseas, predominantly by Chinese factories. And it may be easy to think that that is bad, but the quality and finish kind of surpasses a lot of the worldwide competition. Because when it comes to business, everyone's always gonna go to either what's the best or what's the cheapest, and a lot of times, if you go one way or another, you're gonna have one hell of a ride. To top it all off, because the factories are so stacked with work, they'll only take on the biggest orders. Now remember, there are only so many factories, especially overseas, which means that a lot of aftermarket wheel companies that are natural competitors or indirect competitors to people like you and people like me go in together on getting their wheels made at the same factory. Different companies will make their wheels at the same factory. We have technology.
It's true. Lots of the differences in cast wheels are minuscule at best, with the biggest important being testing over everything else. You don't want a wheel to blow out underneath you. But go to a factory in China or Taiwan and you'll find 10 to 20 different brands all having their wheels built at the same time the same way with the same systems. And it's kind of interesting because nobody wants to talk about the fact that a lot of those are made hand in hand. Once it hits the States though, people wouldn't bet a dollar that they were made the same way because of brand recognition and marketing. Because once it hits the States, the companies, they go their very, very, very much separate ways. Now, people making wheels together isn't the only thing that seems to be a myth, or at least seem to be a thing that not a lot of people know about. But another thing is that people usually don't get too mad about it because it doesn't hit their front door yet. A big myth about the wheel game though is that because if you have an expensive wheel, that means that you've got the best quality. And you have to kind of look at that and say yes, but no, because if you take a good example like Koenig, they're kind of the ones that would be fighting that the most. They make original rotary forged wheels that are super functional looking and most of them are right around a thousand dollars but those wheels in any other company and the price would probably be more around 1400 bucks or 1600 bucks one maybe even say 1700 bucks because of the amount of function that's in the wheel because koenigs are under the price point some people feel that they don't make good enough wheels because they associate price with quality, which is entirely not true. The reason their pricing is where it's at is due to the sheer volume of wheels that Koenig makes with its subsidiary partners and its big boy upstairs, which is YHI International. Pair that with the tech that YHI has and what they share with Koenig and their affiliation through some other companies like NK, and all of a sudden everything is really confusing and great because certain factories make these parts but not these parts, or these parts but not these parts. But Koenig gets the best of both worlds because they ultimately get to have their wheels made with some of the best tech out there without paying a super high price point because they share the space with their other brands. These older companies like Koenig, NK, Work, and even Raze all share history like this. And even though officially they'll probably never come out with that, they have many ties, connections, and similarities with others in the industry that the price they set on their wheels is largely based on whether they're going after a very specific customer or just simply because people are willing to pay for it. That's where the loyalty thing and the price thing go hand in hand. When we talked about back at the beginning of the video when we said loyalty is important but you need to be careful. Now, loyalty is good but it can be a little misrepresented in the wheel industry because loyalty will also make you usually pay more for something even if the quality is a standard to somebody else. And finally, another big myth is the image of what makes a wheel real. Now, I'm sure we've all heard it before, people on the internet. They're like, I'll only buy the real wheels, which is good. That's okay. Support real wheels, yes, okay? And I completely agree. Finding wheel brands that care about their product and not just about a sale and build that loyalty with them, that's what you wanna do, okay? Work is iconic for having a huge following of loyal customers because of how much care and craftsmanship they put behind their wheels. But just like all good things in life, that doesn't mean big brands don't make designs that look like another company. It just happens, it happens all the time. Now, whether people care to admit it or not is whether they'd like to turn the old blinders and say, no, I didn't see that, but it happens. Literally all the time. You'll find old NK wheels, weds, and even rotiforms that share design similarities with other different designs. And it's not a bad thing, and you don't wanna be mad because it just happens. It's better to find a brand that aligns with what you care about as a wheel than solely looking at a design creation as their validity because I'm gonna just pinky, pinky, pinky promise that every single wheel out there took inspiration from another brand or design. Again, what I'm saying there is that you wanna find a brand that you can find loyalty with because they care about their product and the quality that they're making, not just the design. Okay, try getting your hair cut unlike anything else out there and you'll probably end up looking like a velociraptor, which is why so many wheel designs share so many similarities. So it was a question you always wanted to have answered when it came to the wheel industry. You have to remember that there's probably quite a few questions that you may have out there, so drop a comment below and we will answer them for you because guess what? This isn't health class. So be careful what you write down there in the comments, okay? We're not here to answer your seventh grade questions. And if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension though, be sure to check us out over at fitmentindustries.com where we literally have every single wheel and tire suspension option possible. 
all right? Plus, you can check out the gallery where you can build your wheels, tires, make sure everything fits so you don't have bunk fitment. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.